Uh, Slime Green Beast in the building. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick piano tutorial. So these are like the notes that you should know as a beginner. I'm just going to go quickly over the notes and how to use a MIDI keyboard. So like, obviously, like you've got it plugged in and it's actually working. If not, here's some of the, the settings I suggest. Uh, let's go to MIDI, enable. I would turn these two off. None, none. Uh, enable everything else should be good at that point. All right, so um, Now that we got that out of the way, that's um when you're picking a sound so like add Pick your VST already have electric X up um, So like you do want to pick a sound that is good Okay, hold on, I'm sorry, let me fix my okay, so like pick a dope sound We'll just go with this because uh, we're not here. It's like sounds really dumb. Sure. So uh, okay. So um, <clears throat> left hand, you want to stick with mostly chords. Left hand is like a mostly a chord type of thing. Okay. So like for instance, see how it's just like four. And don't get overwhelmed with playing chords. Keep in mind, or just playing piano. Keep in mind, you only have five fingers. So nobody's expecting you to play six six uh, sound chords, but just know like the four ones are kind of magical, okay? The five ones, I, I don't usually do five because I just, just really know where to go like with that awkward ring finger. So like, okay, that's that's pretty comfortable right there. Three is okay too. Two is okay. One is kind of basic. So like try to get the threes, the twos, especially the fours in the mix so and let's go over the notes real quick so this is basically right here is c5 on my computer and if you're ever confused look up here and it'll show you the notes so c5 d5 this is like a basic piano lesson this is basically like the basic scale so c5 is like your bass 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 basic basic note so and like and like um, that's a scale and like piano is like the easiest instrument to play in terms of like scales because like you literally just have to hit them. It's like in order, it's not really confusing. Now, if you're looking at these black keys, here's where it gets confusing. I don't really suggest as a beginner even touching these, but like you can get some cool sounds. Like, like you can go up and down and like honestly, like I hardly ever do this even now. Like I hardly touch these because like it just it almost just makes it too complex. Um, like sometimes I just like a nice because once you introduce these and then if you're layering other sounds you kind of gotta like go into this realm too and it's just like so that's why I just stick to mostly the white keys. Chords with the left hand, right hand you want to play like melody more melodic pieces. So if you're playing, I suggest trying to play things with two hands, one hand. Try just just get on the key and just and just start working at it. But um. If you want an example of the black keys, check this out. It's like. I forgot how that goes. That's like uh, J. Cole's of the morning. And I think if you play with both hands, if I'm trying to play with both hands, it's like. Oh, I forgot how it goes. It's like something like. It's like So that uses both hands, but that's a rare situation. So like that's very, very advanced. But if you're just a beginner, again, just these will work. And let's just go ahead and record something. So like also like get your get your song sound and try not to mess with the BPM too much. Like make FL adjust to you. So if I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. figure out what that BPM is. Sounds kind of slow to be honest. So like, see what I'm saying? But it'll get the vibe right. Maybe go up. I 
if you mess up, it's okay because you're an FL. So. That's hard to play, even for me, and I've been doing this for years. So, like, don't get discouraged, just like, you know. And then you just go in and just fix it, it's no big deal. Know your hotkeys, watch my hotkey video. Delete, control A, shift, drag it over, control D. Boom, 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 I kinda got it right. Then you can like, drag, maybe just make this more full. And that's the beauty of FL, or using a doll in general, just making up for your mistakes. And then like, you see how that was just the left hand? Okay, so now if we're gonna go to the right hand, just clone this sound, clone the sound. C's, basic, we do something like maybe with the right hand. I like to like choose different sounds, but okay, so. See, when you start using these, see how it just doesn't seem to work? With this type of sound, I would have to choose a totally different sound. See what I'm saying, guys? Um, how else gotta explain this? Left hand chord, right hand melody. We already went over the basic notes. I don't know what else to say about this. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Piano man, just just keep keep working on the grind. Uh, don't get discouraged and whatnot. Um, piano is so much easier. Like once you get the hang of it, I feel like it's better than plugging in notes, which is why I do it. It's just a little bit faster and. Like, it's more transferable in like the long run, just being able to actually play the piano. So I'm trying to figure out what I missed out on this video. Covered sharps, covered. Oh yeah, okay, let's go over the notes one more time. C, E, F, G. This is like the basic scale. And then the sharps are C sharp, D sharp, E sharp. Again, like you can experiment with the sharps, but it just gets. But then again, like you know what I'm saying? You just heard me play in the morning and whatnot. My J. Cole and uh, Drake. Yeah. All right, y'all. That's it for this video. Hopefully, y'all learned something. I try my best. Uh, I might make another one. Just leave a comment, and I'll, I'll try to. I try to. I try to do something else. I don't know. Peace.